coached there with the report out last night. I'm sure you know about it. About the university and the NCAA agreeing on major violations. What's your reaction to that? Well, my reaction, this will be the easiest question to answer the day. I think it was contained within the statement of uh, we're, we have been, are, and will be 100% committed to compliance. And along with that, uh, we are committed to this process and respecting that process. And we'll comment on that when, when we're allowed to. How does your role change in all this? I mean, obviously being head coach now, how much were you involved with it before versus now? As I just said, we will comment on, the, uh, you know, we'll, once this is all through, I'd be happy to, to discuss everything we can. Um, when when this process is is over do you keep your team apprised so that nothing stuff like last night isn't surprising to them i mean without, without going into details i know you can't go into how do you how do you manage this as it relates to your team and it becoming a distraction or not we don't um you know we we uh we certainly talk about compliance um and always have um and then we try to try to do the things that we have on a daily basis whether it's academically uh in the community or on the football field we're trying to get better but, but do you keep them updated on details of this case in, in no. particular? No. No. Okay. Nothing that came out was news to you. Uh, no. No. How do you tell? You know, the kids are getting a lot of questions from their folks and all that stuff. How do you try to keep them just you know focused on the task at hand, or do you have to? We or? focus on the task at hand. That's what we do. <laughs> Mark, how's your role changed as head coach in terms of? That question was just Sorry. verbatim asked. <laughs> Sorry. I, yeah. But in terms of promoting an atmosphere of compliance, I mean, is that next is that question? Point? Yeah, I, I mean, again, I, the the we're gonna get into a million gray areas. Let's. I would love I would love to sit down and talk to you guys all about this. Prospectively, not from any school's program. Sorry. What does one scholarship mean competitively? Does it make that big a difference? That's just in gen in general. Next question. <laughs> How was the scrimmage? The scrimmage was uh, up and down. Um, defense got the, the upper hand on the, the offense early, a bunch. Uh, drop balls, penalties, uh, kind of a little sloppy early. Um, uh, and then kind of a little balanced effort there through the middle of it. And then at the end, the, de the offense got a little bit of the defense. So um, got some, some live kickoff, kickoff return work, which is always uh, – a necessity that's scary for a coach because there's a lot of a lot of full speed bodies running long long distances, but but uh, got some work in and, and um, it was productive. Defense ahead of the offense a little bit. Is, uh, that's kind of like what it was last week. Is that what you expect in the in the first scrimmages? That the defense is maybe a little ahead. Well, it, just in that through that sequence, you know, then the offense came back and and did a, did a good job toward the end, uh, kind of bouncing back from that. So I think I think oh, I mean it was very balanced in terms of if we were keeping score. Colt in the backfield this year, more the same or less than kind of what we saw last year? We'll see. You know, we'll see. I think he's uh, he's a dynamic guy, obviously, with a, a ton of tools, and and we're going to try to use him, you know, in every every aspect. Everything everything that he's been able to, to practice and do consistently has been really good. So whether that's blocking, running routes, uh, you know, running after the catch, carrying the ball, he's a he's a dynamic guy. So we're going to certainly do our best to get him the get him the rock. Have you drawn up new plays for him out of the backfield? Um, we haven't drawn up new plays necessarily, but just used him in different ways, you know. And and just as we have uh, DeAnthony or Braylon or Josh Huff, you know, again this time of year, you're trying to to expand those guys, kind of just their their understanding and and how they can plug in here or there and. You know, when guys kind of see, hey, I can get the ball, you know, a little bit more in this situation, usually they, they perk up a little bit. Do you keep the score today? No, not like, not on the scoreboard. I mean, we work some scoreboard situations, whether we need a field goal or a touchdown and from an offensive perspective in a, in a no-huddle deal. Um, but, yeah, no, we don't, we don't I've tried tally. I've like, comparison questions as much as I can, but, I mean, chipping yeah. up, like, scored competition days, are you still doing that in your competition period? Uh, we have not had a competition competition day yet this spring. Um, that There is one scheduled coming up. Um, our, our competition has been good, you know, and that's that's the thing that we want. We want our guys to, to compete if it's – tiddlywinks you know we want our guys to 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 compete 100 percent of the time and 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 you know that's that 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 part's been good who's in the mix return kids still the anthony and Keeney it's mostly. yeah i mean it's been everybody everybody's in there uh uh certainly those guys are are dynamic guys with the ball but it's we're getting a bunch of work of a bunch of guys bj kelly's done a good job uh on a few of them braylon's had a few of them um i'm gonna miss somebody that i shouldn't but it's yeah it's been 
hitting a bunch of guys. Marcus had mentioned this not really being on this group of current guys in regards to any of the investigation. I know you can't talk about it, and I'm sure you probably won't answer it, but in terms of, you know, this has happened in the past where guys... I'll save everybody some time. ...on current teams getting penalized, <laughs> where it's, you know, from years before. What's your thought on that? Punishing guys that are currently here that weren't... Here. Yeah, my thought on that, again, is we're 100% committed to compliance, and how, how rules affect stuff that's not up to us you know and and that's pretty much it we're going to do our best to, to follow the rules 100 percent period are you looking forward to all of this being over with i'm sorry are you looking forward to all of this being over with finally someday sure 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 when's that gonna be that's a, that's a great question <laughs> <laughs> so. thank Thanks, you guys.